Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. If you resonate with me, this is gonna be a general reading for the sign of Aries with placement Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or if you're cross-watching, you can see if these messages resonate with you as well. Um, my readings are timeless, so I could be reading past, present, or future energies, so keep that in mind. And energies can be interchangeable, so I could be reading for you or the person that you're dealing with. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm just cleansing your energy, and then we will jump into your reading, Aries. Uh, a little bit of a different setup uh, this week because... I'm extremely sunburnt from spending all day on the boat yesterday. Uh, <laughs> so uh, a little bit of a different setup, but at least this way it'll give you guys an opportunity to see um, see the cards that come out and the way that I do your guys' spreads. Let me know how you like it or if you like my original, my normal way better. Okay, Aries. What do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in love for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising. Woo. All right. Your cards are ready to talk. Okay, so, okay. A couple of different things here, Aries. First, this card is standing out to me the most. So some of you could definitely be dealing with a twin flame situation, um, if that is re resonating with you. A very spiritual connection that you have with someone here. I feel like um, it could feel toxic at times. It could be more of a toxic connection, or this person may be making you um, act out of character, making you um, act more possessive than you typically would, or you guys have such a deep and intense connection. It's very triggering, right? Because this person could be mirroring a lot of, um, insecurities or things that bringing up to surface level, things that you need to heal. Someone here is very on guard when it comes to this connection. It could have something to do with the way that other people perceive your relationship with the social expectations here. Um, but I do feel like one of you definitely has an energy here of putting the other person on a pedestal. Um, they want to treat you or you want to treat this person the right way. And there's definitely a blockage here because somebody's on guard. You and this person may have a love-hate relationship, so it could be very on and off again. Uh, indecisive patterns here. Uh, it's like you can't live with them and you can't live without them as well. Someone here does have choices though. So there is a decision that needs to be made in this connection. Um, all right. Yeah, see. So this is a past life connection. Um, it's a past life connection, soul ties to this individual, but they bring out a lot of shadow work in you. So, or you do this to them. Um, there's a lot you can learn from this connection. Okay. Whatever you lack um, you feel like this person has and vice versa. And one of you really is interested in this being a long-term connection, but I feel like that whoever's on guard here is pushing away the connection. Now, someone here is definitely very infatuated in this connection. So there is a bit of an obsessive, um, energy here. That could be you or your person. Take it how it resonates. Um, but there's definitely an energy here falling very fast for this person or some type of romantic obsession. And you have a message here of making sure you, you stay grounded so that you don't get trapped in any type of illusions here and you're seeing things very clearly. Okay, Aries, what else? What else for Aries? You have a, you're having a really hard time letting go of this person. It's like someone here one of you has a very hard time opening up and being vulnerable vulnerable and expressing how you feel about the other person. Um, so there's an energy here of wanting to let this go, but unable to do so, unable to let it go. Yeah, you guys could have a lot of highs and a lot of lows in this connection. It could be very on and off again. Um, it's like one moment this person feels very interested in you or you do this to somebody else. And then the next moment it's like, iced out, super cold, detached. Um, there's a lot of unhealed aspects that you both need to work through. And that's what this connection is trying to bring in for you. This shadow work here, Aries. Okay. Um, let's see what else for Aries. What else does Aries need to know? Ooh, somebody's going through something here. 
Um, okay, so you're dealing with somebody who could try to justify their behaviors or they have a lot of regrets surrounding in the way that they previously treated you and the fact that they used to act like they weren't doing anything wrong. I'm getting like a very manipulative energy. So you could have been dealing with somebody who is very manipulative uh, and they tried to act like they didn't know what they were doing or that what they were doing isn't, there's nothing wrong with it. And now this person has a lot of regrets from the past. They're thinking a lot about the past. They could have recently went through some type of dark night of the soul um, situation or this is what they could be experiencing now. Uh, meaning maybe like a tower moment happened or this person's feeling very disconnected and they're having time to reflect and think about the past. So all the good times, the bad times um, between the two of you and now there's a lot of regrets here. This person could have had some control issues. Yeah, there is a very strong attachment to this person, Aries. Um, you guys had a very strong attachment, even though it feels like, even though it feels like you guys have this on and off connection, there's a strong attachment between the two of you. Uh, somebody here could have uh, been self-sabotaging or this manipulative behavior that someone had in this connection uh, was their way of protecting themselves and, and they self-sabotage their connections because they try to stay in control. So you could be dealing with somebody who's very controlling um, or they try to um, remain in control over connections, okay? Someone here, I'm getting like someone, you could have felt like this person really held you back from your um, from growing or doing things that you like to do or yeah, I'm hearing like some of you may have been frustrated that you felt like this was a waste of time and you gave up a lot for this person. So be open to new experiences. You could be at a distance from this person. Um, there could be travel involved in order for you guys to see each other, but they're saying be open to new experiences, uh, new opportunities. If you get an invitation to travel, you should take action on that. Um, I do feel like there's some type of detour here, some type of hidden blessing and whatever's happening in, in this connection currently. I feel like some of you, if you are going to travel, there's some sort of hidden blessing involved in that travel. So that's a very specific message. It won't be for all of you. But if some of you are traveling or moving or going to new places, um, there's some sort of hidden blessing uh, in, in that travel. Okay. So... Um, let's go ahead and jump in to you and your person. We're going to look at what you guys are thinking about your connection, how you guys feel towards your connection, towards each other, how you guys view each other, mutual energies, blockages between the two of you and a potential outcome. Here you are, Aries, showing up. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. You have temperance, which you don't have to be. Some of you could be dealing with the Cancer, or you could have that in your chart. Aries. I do see a lot of conflict um, here with whoever this in and out energy is, this person that you're dealing with, this in and out. All right, let's see. Yeah, see, five of wands at the bottom. Um, so I feel like a lot of you are trying to move away from some type of conflict here towards something new possibly or, yeah, look at that. You're on fire, Aries. You are on fire. All right, so... <clears throat> What is on Aries person's mind? The person that you need to know about, the person you're thinking about. What is on their mind when it comes to your connection? What are they thinking about? Yeah, someone here got left out in the cold. You could be dealing with a Pisces for sure, um, but you don't have to be. Wow, look at that. <laughs> See, someone feels they're thinking about being left out in the cold or either you walking away from the connection or them walking away from a connection um, in search of their two of cups, in search of their happiness. This person's thinking a lot about the love between the two of you, the union you guys have, um, the friend, I'm hearing friendship. So some of you could be friends with this person for sure. Um, but somebody definitely walked away and left the other out in the cold. And that's what, that is what is on this person's mind. But they feel a deep connection with you, Aries. All right, let's see. This person is thinking about the fact that you guys are in like in limbo mode. There's no, it's like uncertainty is what I'm hearing um, in regards to your guys' connection. How do they feel towards you, Aries? Four of pentacles. See, this person's still holding on. This person is still holding on. How do they feel towards Aries? 
could, they could have had you in a third party situation for some of you because the three of pentacles is here. Um, but this person feels like they're still holding on. They still want to collab with you. They still want to work with you. Some of you know this person from work. Um, I'm getting, but this person feels like they still want to put work into it. They're still holding on to the idea of this coming back together. How do they? Ten of Pentacles. So, wow, the star. <laughs> this person views you as um, the star, as a wish fulfillment. As I feel like this person views you as very stable. This person views you as, for a lot of you, that you're too good for them in a lot of ways is what I'm getting. Um, they view you also as a, you're still hopeful or remaining hopeful for some type of connection or commitment here. What's on your mind, Aries? What is on your mind when it comes to this connection, this person? Page of Cups. Could be um, an age difference between the two of you, two of swords. See, and then the hermit in reverse. So you're thinking, you kind of go back and forth when it comes to opening up to this person or coming out of no communication, wanting to express how you're feeling, but feeling very conflicted. It's like, you don't want to take action first is what I'm getting. Um, you're not seeing things clearly right now. But you're thinking about, you guys may be at a stalemate. Wow, look at that judgment. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio um, or a Virgo is here. Aquarius is here as well. But you want to, you guys, you, you're thinking about a second chance here in this connection. How do you feel towards this person, Aries? Nine of Swords. This person, Knight of Wands. The, the fact that this connection is so on and off again, in and out, brings you a lot of stress. So you feel like there's a lot of anxiety overthinking surrounding this connection. Um, perhaps that's why some of you withdrew your energy, but I do feel like for a lot of you, you're really anxious about this situation or very, um, I'm hearing like overanalyzing. So you could feel like you're, there's a lot of stress that I feel it um, surrounding this in and out energy, what's going to happen in this connection. How do you view your person, Aries? Temperance. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Sag or a Leo. Lots of fire energy here. Wow. And then the Ace of Wands at the bottom. Some of you, um, you there is a, a, this person, you view them as someone that makes you happy. Okay. This person makes you happy. Um, I feel like, but again, with temperance here, it's like that back and forth energy hot and cold, fire and water. Some of you could definitely be done with a, a water sign I'm getting, but <clears throat> it's interesting because you view this person as your happiness, wanting a new beginning. Um, what's the mutual energy here between the two of you? King of Swords. See, somebody here is very cold and detached. Could definitely be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but you don't have to be. Um... What else? What is this? Ten of Swords. So there's some type of uh, ending, painful ending that happened between the two of you. And somebody got iced out because of that. Somebody is no longer wearing their heart on their sleeve. They're a little bit more um, detached or trying to be more logical about the situation due to some type of betrayal, due to some type of ending between the two of you. Somebody could have had options. Again, for some of you, it was a third party situation. And that's why you um, kind of withdrew your energy. I feel like there's a lot of fear surrounding the unknown in this connection though. It could be done with a Pisces or a Cancer. All right, let's see. What is the blockage here? Page of Swords. <laughs> somebody being very guarded. Communication. Um, I feel like somebody could have found something out here as well with the Page of Swords. Um, and that's in the blockage or the challenging position in this connection. So, again, there could be an age difference with the Page of Swords and the King of Swords here, um, an immaturity level difference <laughs> between the two of you. I also feel like some sort of communication is in the blockage, the way you guys communicate, and somebody being on guard here. What's the outcome? All right. Okay, so for some of you, um, 
this is what's coming out. So you have the Four of Wands, the Three of Swords, the Empress, and the Moon. So Taurus, Libra energy here, Cancer, Pisces. Um, you do have the Nine of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Three of Wands, Knight of Swords. So some type of communication that you guys have been waiting on does come through here. But I feel like there's still some sort of disappointment um, in regards to the way things are turning out. Because you have the Three of Swords. So there is still some type of heartbreak and pain here. And with the Nine of Pentacles, that's that single energy. Um, standing in your power. Feeling very independent, being single, um, putting yourself first, focusing on self-love, self-worth. A lot of you are in a very creative space right now and just, um, I'm hearing like bad all by myself or something. I know I've read that before or something like that. I can do bad all by myself, something like that. That's the energy that you're in, Aries. Um, but there is still a lot of fear surrounding the unknown in regards to this twin flame connection or in regards to some type of coming together, some type of commitment with this individual. So that is still showing up. I do see um, communication and action being taken here, but I, I feel like it's still not what you're exactly what you're wanting or hoping for. Um, so there is still an energy here of some type of disappointment. What is the three of swords here for? Because, because this person's still guarded. So even if they do come back around right now, they're still resisting your connection. They're still resisting the love that they have for you. Yes, there is love here, but there's a lot of emotional baggage that this person is holding onto that they need to release, okay? Um, in order to give you, in order for your guys' connection to be balanced is what I'm seeing here, okay? Um, so yeah, that is what I have for you, Aries. It looks like... Um, Definitely some sort of communication is coming through, but this person is really trying to resist their desire for you, um, really resisting their love for you and resisting the connection here. Um, so I do see that. I do see this as a very strong soul tie connection, whether it's a soulmate for some of you or a twin flame, which showed up here twice. Uh, so I do see that here as well. Um, but again, you guys are in the space of really focusing on yourself and putting yourself first um, in that uh bad bitch energy here, Aries, which I love to see for you. Actually, it's very independent um, and boss-like. boss, boss -like. <laughs> So uh, yeah, that's what I have. Let me know if that resonated. Uh, I hope it helped your situation or bring you clarity on your situation. Like, share, subscribe if you resonate with me, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.